All right then, so in this lesson, we're gonna take a look at the avatar component, which allows us to output little avatars like this right here, the dead, dead simple to use. Now, in our project, we want an avatar up here, and we're gonna also apply some kind of avatar badge to that as well. But also we want avatars in each of these projects, in each of these task cards. So let's start with these cards right here. And to do that, we need to go to the dashboard page. Now we have this right here, which is being used as an avatar at the minute. We want to replace that with an avatar. So let's delete the text and instead, in fact, we'll delete the box. We don't need the box to surround the avatar. So let's say avatar, we'll use that component. Let me click on this to import it. And inside the avatar, we need a source prop. So let's say source is equal to something. Now in our case, that is going to be found on the task itself. If we go to the data, we can see that each task has an image property, and that's some kind of path to an image that we want to use. So we can just say task.img, like so. And now the source of this avatar should be that image. But if we take a look at those images, then they're very big squares. Let's go to these images right here. So what Chakra does is reduce those and it just clips them to make a circle of the center of the image. So let's save this and preview over here. And now we can see little avatars of each one of these right here. Where we don't have a valid path, it just gives us this default thing right here. So if I go to the JSON over here, in one of these, you see I've deliberately misspelled it. So it should be peach, but it's peak, and that's where we get this default avatar. If I change this back to peach, it should work. If I refresh, yep, so now it's peach, awesome. So that's avatars, dead simple to use. Let's also create an avatar up here, but also have a little badge on it, which could be used to show some kind of notifications. So let's go to the nav bar to do that. So I'm gonna scroll down here a little bit to where we have this H stack. This is what we're using as the kind of dummy avatar at the minute. Let's get rid of that and instead use the avatar components. Now, remember for the avatar, we need a source. So let's set that source equal to forward slash image, forward slash, let's just use Mario because that's what the email is, .png. So let me save that and preview so far to see if we get that avatar, we do. I wanna show you one quick thing actually, you know, like I showed you a minute ago, if we don't have a correct path and the image doesn't exist, then we get this kind of default thing right here. Well, instead, what you can do is you can pass through a name prop. So I could say the name of this person is Mario, right? Now, if I do that and save it, instead of that default um, avatar, we get the M instead. Now, you can't see the circle because I think the circle is the same background color as this background. So let's change the background of this as well because you can say BG is equal to some kind of color. So I could say purple like so, and we should see that that's a purple avatar now. It doesn't look great, but I just wanted to show you that is another way we can use fallback options. So change that back to Mario for now and take a look. Yep, it's there. I also want a little badge over here to say how many notifications I might have. Now, the way we do that is by using an avatar badge. So inside the avatar, if we don't make this self-closing, so let's close it like so. Now we get an avatar where we can place content inside. And what I'll do is use the avatar badge component, okay? Now, if I do that and just save it, let's preview this. We don't really see anything, but if we go over here, we can style this a little bit. So what I'll say is the width of this badge is 1.3 M's and then the, oops, that needs to be equal, not colon. Sort that out. And then also the background is gonna be equal to teal and then we'll use strength 500. Save that and preview. And we can see this kind of squashed little badge right here. But if we place content inside this now, so if I say I want to use a text component and we'll set the font size of this to be small. So font size is equal to extra small, in fact. And inside, we'll just do three. We also want to make the color of that text white so it stands out more. So color is equal to white, like so. Now, since we have content inside it, it will have a height and we get that little badge. Awesome. So that was pretty cool, right? 
So that, my friends, is how simple it is to create avatars and avatar badges. In the next lesson, we're going to take a look at that default theme we've talked about a little bit and how we can change that default theme as well.